What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be learning how to do a VHS old film look inside Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I love teaching others. I put up weekly tutorials helping you guys grow as a filmmaker. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. So I pulled in some old behind the scenes footage of this commercial shoot I was on. It kind of fit the vibe that I was going for. This effect is not gonna work for everything, but it really seemed to enhance these few shots that I had. So now that we're inside Resolve, you can see I made this interesting little sequence and I have everything on two adjustment clips above it. And if I shut these two adjustment clips off, you can see that we just have our footage is untouched underneath. I'm gonna take these two adjustment clips, move them out of the way, and we're gonna start with some fresh ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to Effects Library. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna go down here to Effects. We're gonna grab an adjustment clip and we're gonna drop it on our footage. We're gonna drag it across the whole thing. I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit so we can see a little better. Let me turn these timelines back on so we can actually see what we're doing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the color tab. We're gonna jump over here, making sure that our adjustment clip is selected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the curves. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of just crunch in the highlights and the shadows, just bring them in just a little bit. Most VHS footage really didn't have the best dynamic range, so by crunching it at the beginning, I feel like I'm kind of getting a good starting point. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the color tab at the very top of the screen. We're gonna click on that, go to the nodes, and we're gonna scroll down to add splitter combiner node. We're gonna click on that and you can see, whoa, that looks kind of crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close our effects over here so we can see a little bit better. I'm just gonna drag that around so you can kind of see what's going on. All we're doing is we have a splitter going on right here that's giving us a red, green, and blue channel. That's literally all that's happening and it's also bringing it back the combiner at the end to send the signal out. I know it's very intimidating, but it's really not as crazy as it looks. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go over here to the red channel node. We're gonna scroll down to the resizing button right here. We're gonna make sure that we are on the fourth tab and we are gonna pan over, let's say minus 8%. And you can see right here that it's starting to have that color splitting going on right there. If we got crazy and we drug it way over here, you can see what's going on. And we're just gonna hit Command Z to go back to where we were. Then we're gonna click on the blue channel and we're gonna do the same thing, but instead we're gonna go plus 1.5, I think looks pretty good. You can click through these other clips and see how it's going and affecting your other footage, but make sure anytime you're gonna go back and adjust it more, you're clicking back on that adjustment layer. We're gonna jump back over to the edit tab we are gonna grab another adjustment clip and drop it on top. You don't really have to have two different adjustment clips. I just prefer to have two separate ones in case I don't like an effect or it's coming on too strong or I wanna change things about it. That's kind of the way that I like to do it. Then we're gonna to go to the open effects and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find analog damage. There's also film damage and film grain. I personally think analog damage has the most variety inside of it, uh, but you can kind of play with it and see what, what works for your needs. We're gonna grab analog damage and drop it on top of our adjustment clip. We're gonna go over here to open effects. Now, if this isn't here and your inspector is not clicked on, just click on an inspector and make sure you click on open effects. Now with inside here, you can change this to a variety of different things already to where maybe you think, I don't even need to go in and add that color difference, that this is just ready to go. And for some of you, maybe it is. I normally prefer to have a little bit more control than just what the standard effects will have inside them. But some of these will get you in a really good place. What I like to do is pick custom off the bat. We're gonna click on broadcast signal and we are going to bring this one up just just a little bit, just so we kind of push those reds just a little bit more. Let me close that. Then I like to go to the scan and do the V-hold latch, and I bring it up. Uh, three is fine. Three is fine right there. Close that. Then you can go into the scan lines, and you can kind of add just a little bit. Don't get too crazy, because if you go too much, it gets really kind of alien uh, Area 51 feel. So I barely kind of bring that in there just a little bit and I'll change the frequency just a bit, just to, 
just to kind of find a taste that I like. If you're wanting to have that real old Super 8 look inside the TV construction tab, they have the uh, Edge Alpha Mask. If you click that, you can mess with it however you want. You can make it as small as you want, but then if you really don't want that, you can just unclick and not have it on there altogether. And then on the foot jitter, I like to add just a little bit, but if you get too much, it gets kind of crazy yet again. And then you have your blend option. I like to blend the original footage, maybe for the 5%, somewhere in the middle. That's basically how you have some really old footage. Again, you can go in there and tweak this as much as you possibly want, and you can go in there and change the analog damage. You don't even have to add the analog damage if you don't want that. You could add just some film grain on top of it and leave it as it is. That's completely up to you. There you go, guys. Just a real easy tutorial for you in Resolve 16. I hope you like it. Try it out. Let me know. Tag me on Twitter and Instagram. Let me see. It. I would love to see your guys' work. Drop a comment below on some new tutorials you want to see coming out. I've got some dope ones in the works that I'm working on right now. Super excited. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm the Iron Giant and I'm out.